Hi there, Cancer. This is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. Yes, there has been a name change to my channel due to um, massive growth and expansion. Um, it was a now or never decision to change the name of this channel. And uh, so it was now. It's still Taurus Star Tarot, and you can still call me that. And it's all the same. I just want to be able to reach a wider variety of people that aren't necessarily seeking tarot card readings, but are seeking wisdom and advice from the universe, right? Still going to be a tarot-based channel. Nothing is going to change for you. You'll still get your monthly readings, mid-monthly readings, and all the crazy stuff that I do in between, right? I'm trying to catch my groove. I'm trying to trying to catch my groove, trying to decide if I should do, uh, you know, twice a month readings, once a month readings with updates in between and um, all that good stuff. So anyway, just be patient with me. Nothing's going to change. You're still going to get your tarot card readings. And I still do personal tarot card readings at deepthoughtswithdana.com if you would like one. There is a special intro price for subscribers to my YouTube channel. So Hit me up if you'd like a personal reading. So, let me put down my coffee cup real quick, find a spot. Okay, so you start this reading off with the Ace of Swords, right? This Ace of Swords is all about absolute mental clarity. Mental clarity, victory, and breakthroughs in the way that you think about something, in the way that you think about the Ten of Cups. This is in a, a, a mental clarity about how you are going to achieve harmony, happiness, and values alignment in your life. The Prince of Swords comes in and tells us that you're about to take some action. You are definitely about to take some action, right? But the Two of Swords says that you have some confusion and some indecision, right? Some confusion and some indecision. Because you know that there is a life cycle that is about to change for you. One life cycle is ending and a new life cycle is about to begin. And it creates confusion and indecision in your mind. Or, or created, right? Because you, you come into this reading with absolute crisp mental clarity. So this is basically telling us why you had indecision and confusion and why you needed mental clarity, right? Because there's a new life cycle that is about to start for you. Um, the universe has deemed you worthy of starting a brand new chapter of your life. Apparently, Cancer, apparently you have learned what it is that you need to learn up until this point. And now you have the tools to do what needs to be done in your life, in your destiny, and the universe is opening the door for you to have a brand new life cycle and a turning point in your destiny. Why did you have the confusion and the indecision? Well, because of the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles talks about, talks about fearing limited success or reward entering into this new life cycle. The Five of Cups comes in and says that this confusion, this indecision, this fear of things not working out the way that you think that they're going to work out, clarified by the Five of Cups. This Five of Cups is all about having um, worrying that you might regret this decision. But this is also a card about acceptance and moving on. Death comes in and says there's an ending, a change, a huge transition about to happen in your life as witnessed by the wheel, right? Four of Swords comes in and tells me that because you have dealt with this right here, the confusion and the indecision, obviously because you come into this reading with absolute mental clarity, mental victory, mental power, and mental breakthrough, and mental clarity. You are at peace with the way things are unfolding with this new life cycle. And you are about to take a new beginning. <laughs> You're about to have a new beginning and take a new journey in your life. And you are at peace with it. You made peace with the Four of Swords with the Two of Swords. This new journey, this new beginning in your life is the Ace of Wands. It's an inspired, powerful, creative new beginning with a ton 
of potential. The Eight of Wands tells me that you are about to take some swift action in regards to uh, this turning point in your destiny, right? In regards to this new journey that you're about to embark upon. The Eight of Wands is all about speed, action, movement, swift change, and yes, it's also about travel, followed by another travel card, the Chariot. The chariot comes in and says that you are going to move forward. This card is about having the control, the willpower, and the determination to take whatever action is necessary to achieve success. And it is also about traveling. Traveling down the road of your life, maybe even traveling to a new location. The Queen of Wands comes in and tells me that you feel exuberant and vibrant and determined and successful. Seven of Wands clarifies that, says you're in fight mode, Cancer. You are in fight mode, but not like fight club fight mode, like fight mode, like like bring it on. Let's do this. Let's, let's do whatever we have to do. Let's pack it up. Let's move on down the road because I see success in my future and I'm determined to make it happen. This makes me excited and I see success in my future. And that's what the Seven of Wands is about. The Seven of Wands is about you feeling um, challenged, but in a good way, right? It's a good kind of challenge. This challenge, this life cycle change, this new journey, this new beginning, this ending change, transformation in your life, is going to lead you to the King of Pentacles. It's going to give you security, control, power, discipline, and abundance in your life. Clarified by the Lover's card, this is a card about having harmony, values alignment, in the choices that you're making. King of Wands, success, feeling like a boss, feeling like a badass, right? totally in control. You know where you're coming from. You know where you're going. And you have the desire, the ability, the motivation, the vision to make it happen with the Eight of Wands and the Chariot. Success. The Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands tells me that up until, up until this point in your life, there's been a struggle. There's been a burden and a struggle. But this card is also about accomplishment, right? He's almost finished carrying this heavy load. And when he gets to where he's going, there's going to be a great sense of accomplishment and he can build with the burden that he's been carrying up until this point. What can he build? Well, the Ten of Pentacles, of course, a golden foundation by which to build your future. Clarified by the Nine of Wands. This card is about having courage, persistence, a test of faith, and resilience. Because you have been resilient, because you have been persistent, because you have carried the load that you need to carry up until this point, accomplishment is at the end of this journey. And the accomplishment is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is about wealth and family and establishment of your life. It's the, the golden foundation by which to springboard into your future. And the wheel promises you that. The Fool card promises you that there's going to be a new beginning and a new journey in your life. An inspired, creative powerful new beginning in your life. That is beautiful, Cancer. Here's your outcome cards, okay? I pulled some outcome cards for you. The Knight of Wands says you're about to take passionate action towards your goals and desires. Ten of Cups, your goals and desires, right? I mean, it, it, the Ten of Cups is like the ultimate. It's harmony, happiness, and values alignment in your life. The Five of Pentacles came out in reverse, so I'm leaving it in reverse. The Five of Pentacles says that you are recovering from not only financial loss, but spiritual poverty as well. The Eight of Cups comes in and says that you are walking 
away. Now, it, this card in, in the context of this reading isn't walking away. It's walking towards, it's, it's going to find those other two cups, right? Because there's only eight and you want 10, 10, right? There's only eight and you want 10 and you are moving on, moving on into a new life cycle to, to complete the package with another two cups. The Six of Wands tells me that you are going to have victory, progress, self-confidence. This card is also about public recognition, right? Which may be maybe where that Two of Swords came from, right? Maybe there's a, conf a confusion and indecision because you're not sure if you're going to regret this new move or not, right? But this card says public victory, success, public victory, public recognition, victory, progress, and success on your journey. The Three of Pentacles comes in and says that during this journey, along this journey, this new life cycle, right, this ending, this change, this transformation, you are going to come into teamwork and collaboration that is going to create something very, very stable in your life with this Hierophant. It's the card of Taurus. Could mean something, could not, doesn't matter. But the Hierophant rules over everything that's rooted in the word commitment. It rules over your spiritual wisdom, your religious beliefs, your spiritual beliefs, social conformity, social traditions, personal traditions, family traditions. It's all about your personal beliefs, right? And this journey that you're about to take is going to result in the Ten of Cups. It's going to result in coming out of spiritual and financial poverty. It's going to result in, in going on a journey to fill the missing two cups, to find those missing two cups, public recognition, victory, progress, success, teamwork and collaboration, building something, designing your life. <clears throat> and the Hierophant says that this is going to be significant, hugely, hugely significant in your life. And it's going to require or it's going to result in a commitment that is, that is, that is going to be able to help you plan your future. The Knight of Cups comes in. This is the metaphorical knight in shining armor. This opportunity that's happening for you right here, Cancer, is your metaphorical knight in shining armor. It is an answer to your prayers. Finalized by the Knight of Pentacles. This is something that you will be able to plan your long-term future. The Ten of Pentacles. This is something that you will be able to plan your long-term future upon. Slow, steady, intentional. That is a beautiful reading, Cancer. That is a beautiful reading. You are on the brink of something amazing in your life. Amazing. And this is amazing because your readings in the past have been about heartbreak and grief and sorrow. And this, this reading is just beautiful. And you are about to embark on a brand new beginning, a brand new journey, a life cycle change, a turning point in your destiny. Inspired, creative, powerful new beginnings in your life that are going to bring you the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. It's going to bring you out of spiritual poverty, financial poverty. The choices that you're making are going to bring security, control, discipline, and abundance into your life. Cancer, this is beautiful. Beautiful. If you like this reading, leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on in your life because I really do care and I really do want to know. Right? Shout out to Tracy. Tracy, here's your reading. Namaste, my friends.